This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to this week's edition of Business in Hawaii. I'm Dewan Yanagita and we're broadcasting live from the Think Tech studios in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in live, we are at www.thinktechhawaii.com and you can subscribe to our programs and get on our mailing list at that site as well. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to share with you stories of local businesses by local people and our guests share with us how they were able to build successes in our challenging environment. In the Think Tech studio with us today is Colleen McCallney. McCallney, did McAlini. I get that right? Yeah. McAlini. <laughs> from the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership, um, or uh, more commonly known as MCBL. Colleen is the program manager for MCBL, and we want to thank you, Colleen, for joining us again. Um, we've, we've been blessed to have you on our show a couple of times um, previously with Terry. Um, and we're very excited to hear about all the new things that are going on with MCBL. But for our viewers who missed um, that episode, why don't you go ahead and tell us about MCBL and, and what the good work that you folks do there. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having me today, Dale, and I really appreciate it. Uh, so the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership is a women's business center that was established by the Small Business Administration, the YWCA Oahu, and uh, a, a whole lot of community partners. We are the only women's business center in Hawaii. There are 114 across the country. And we, our mission basically is to help women, but also men, who want to start their own business. So we're a very, we help uh, people at a very base level who want information about how to start a business. Nice. Yeah. Um, I know that you folks um, are a actually have a physical location at the YWCA. Yes, YWCA Oahu uh, downtown on Richard Street, right across from the palace, and our offices are located on the ground floor lobby. And it's a great resource, uh, a mm -hmm. great place for folks to go, right? Definitely. There are all kinds of resources right there in that space. Yes, Is that definitely. Right? Yes, so our center focuses on two main programs. We have leadership programs and small business programs. And before I get uh, started on that any further, I wanted to just show you our proclamation for Women's Small Business Month that Governor Ige signed just recently for us. Congratulations. Can't see, can't see, not sure if you can see it. Very nice. And so we're really proud of that. And then also in about a week and a half, we'll be at his office again when he signs our Shop Small Saturday proclamation. So we'll get into that later. But anyway, regarding our programs, our leadership programs uh, focus on helping uh, women specifically uh, build their leadership capacity. So we're most known for our Patsy T. Mink Leadership Alliance which is focused on um, mid-career women who are looking to increase their leadership capacity and who would like to make the next step in their career. And uh, we help support them with a 10-month program that we're currently on our cohort three, and our cohort four will uh, start uh, receiving applications for that in April 2019. Wow. So that's are really exciting. Are you able to share with us some of your success stories from your earlier cohorts? Well, we... So our cohorts are actually very corporate um, oriented. And so it's interesting because that's kind of a different point of view than our small business point of view at the Mink Center. So um, their, uh, their successes are that they are getting promoted in their nice. jobs and they are gaining knowledge and being able to um, incorporate what they're learning into their everyday uh, workplace and with their teams. They have to. They actually do have to have um, at least five years experience in leadership before joining the cohort. So we have had some wonderful successes. It must be nice also for those uh, career mid-career level women to be able to have a um, a forum in which they can share some of their experiences and their struggles and their challenges, and then um, they can also dialogue about the things that. Um, have taken them to to the next level. And oh, share definitely, that. definitely. That must be an amazing conversation. They really, right? they really appreciate each other, mm -hmm. and 
that's what they look forward to the most is helping to build a network of support for themselves and each other. Mm -hmm. That's that's been one of the, the best outcomes of the cohorts Fantastic. for sure. And yeah. so do the corporate entities nominate their? They do. Okay. Mm -hmm. they and do. when does that application process happen? Is that so? That usually happens in April and May, and then uh, so our our next co our current cohort just started in August. So cohort four would applications would be April and May of 2019. With um, we do one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews with them, and that's usually in June or July. And how many in a cohort? So uh, this year, this year and last year, we had 21. Wow. And the first cohort was 14. Yeah. That's pretty big. Yeah, we're finding 21 is a little large. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, we're tr we, we had so many fantastic uh, candidates and applicants mm -hmm. that it was really hard to pare it down. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the ideal number would be 15, but we're getting by with the 21. It's fantastic. They're nice. a wonderful group. So what is the format? Is it um, you meet on a weekend and go through leadership development? No, they meet uh, once or twice a month for uh, like a nine to two day. And they, um, they meet with a facilitator on that day's topic. Then they do a recap session on how they're going to implement that or what ideas they have to implement what they learned between today and the next session. And then uh, at the next session, they'll open up with their experiences, their you know, positive, negatives, what worked, what didn't work, and then they'll go into the next session. How did the, um, the leadership cohort concept come to fruition? Was it by demand? Were, were folks Well, we have a fantastic out? advisory board at the Patsy Mink Center. It is a separate board from the YWCA board. Uh, we ha it's advisory and uh, wonderful, passionate women leaders in the community who really felt that there was a need for a very specific women's leadership program. So we are the only women's leadership program so far in the state. And so um, we've got, we've had so much interest because of that. And it was, it was um, basically driven by them. So mm -hmm. very grateful for that. And how do you select your mentors? Our, well, our, so our advisory board helps to bring them in. So it it's basically has to do with their expertise. Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. Um, there's a completely other side. Uh, there's another. There program. is. There Let's is. I'll just touch that. one more on one more thing regarding our leadership. We have our youth leadership. So we have what we call our girls summit, and it is a one day conference that uh, high school girls come to. They attend for um, a, like a nine to three day, and we have a keynote speaker. We have workshops for them to choose from. And our, we focused on STEM and leadership the last oh, couple of wow. years. And we also have a wonderful mentoring session. And so we bring in our advisory board members, we bring in the facilitators we've used for the Leadership Alliance and some of our, some of our cohort members as well. And they mentor during lunch and afterward for like a 10 minute speed mentoring that lasts an hour with rotating facilitators that they love. And then we do a little advocacy at the end just so that they understand how their, how their voices can be heard. So we're actually having our first Kauai Girls Summit, which is um, sponsored by Wilcox Medical Center and Hawaii Pacific Health in about uh, two weeks. So we're very excited about that. Very nice. Um, yes. So which high schools participate? How so that um, let's see, on Oahu, we have uh, the Priory, we have uh, Farrington High School and McKinley High School have participated the last um, three years. And then on Kauai, we have uh, Kauai High School, Waimea High School, Kapa'a High School, and Island School. Wow. So we usually try to get at least one private school and pair with uh, public schools yeah. just to have a nice mix of networking for the girls. Sure. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. It is. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, and there's also a So our small side, business right? side, yes, right. definitely. So our small business side, we're most known for our free business and legal counseling. And we offer that, we're able to offer that through our, because of our grant with the Small Business Administration. And it's like I said before, it's a very basic, uh, how, what do I do? We, our clients, they come in, what do I do? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and they want guidance. So it's very nice because we, we usually serve about 80% women, 20% men, and our counselors are women, and it's a very nurturing environment, very safe, very nurturing. So they, they always come back. <laughs> so that translates, the, the business counseling translates to our Launch My Business classes. So we have a Launch My Business start for people who just have an idea. It's a one-day class, 
and then how to develop that. And then Launch My Business Grow is a seven week, 45 hour class for basically for companies that have already been uh, in business up to a year or two and they're looking to take that next step and grow their business. So, um, so is that a cohort model as well? It is. We're, on, we're currently on cohort 13 for wow. Launch My Business Grow. Okay, so yes. share with us some of those success stories yes. and the businesses that have come up. So we have some we have some wonderful business. A lot of them actually are food. So um, we do they do a lot of um, food, uh, uh, just food trucks maybe. Or we have had a couple of brick and mortars. We've had uh, we have let's see Sarah who has a bra shop. We have she's a buxom beauty. She's especially for the larger busted woman. We have, um, gosh, I'm just trying to think, sorry. No, <laughs> A so number of different businesses, but yeah, so it's actually, starting your business is very difficult. So of course the biggest uh, roadblock is funding, right? So most of our, because our clients are at such a basic level, most of what we do is help them in what they need to know to get started and then, um, they'll once they have that established and they can try to get some sales under their belt or open their business and get going then a lot of times they'll move up to one of our SBA partners like the SBDC Small Business Development Center or go directly to the SBA themselves to have more access to funding and finding that. So your cohort participants start from ground up then. They come yes. to you in, in the pure if an infancy stage mm -hmm. with the idea yes and you folks guide them through um, perhaps loan application mm -hmm. um, finding that funding how to approach. or even what they need to do to get to the loan application oh, right okay. because many many traditional banks need a business plan so even getting them to write that is very um, it's kind of overwhelming for them mm -hmm. so we try to get them to get to that point and just keep counseling them. It's a very long process. Mm -hmm. Either it's, it's interesting where entrepreneurs are concerned because you either have somebody who just dives in and they quit their job and then they say, I'm ready to start my business and you're like, no, 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 don't quit your job yet. <laughs> or you have the people who just take years, right? Because they've had this idea percolating for so long and they just take their time getting going. And it must be scary. Oh, you know, it is. It must very be scary to go all in and say, "Okay, this is this is it. I'm right. I'm chasing my dream." Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So the mentors for that program mm -hmm. are those folks from the community, or are those? We actually have um, a hired counselor, and she's actually our instructor also. Nice. And so she has her own um, family business and that she's run for 30 years. But she's also, we also have a Lunch My Nonprofit because we have a number of clients oh. come who want to start a nonprofit. So she has also done that herself as well. So she's very, um, she's very experienced in that. So in fact, we have a Lunch My Nonprofit uh, class coming up in December. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. And so, but that's not an application process. No, right? it's Anybody not. Can you can just go to our website, which is mcblhawaii.org, and you can click on our events or programs and find that there. Fantastic. Yes. Um, MCBL is also involved in um, quite a few other things with some yes. very large partners. And we're going to go to a quick break. But when we come back, I want to talk about your partnership um, that started with the American Express. And then we'll, um, we'll see all that's coming up for you folks. Excellent. We are going to take that short break. This is Business in Hawaii. And we'll see you back here shortly. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Welcome to Sister Power. I'm your host, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, where we motivate, educate, empower, and inspire all women. We are live here every other Thursday at 4 p.m., and we welcome you to join us here at Sister Power. Aloha and thank you. 
Welcome back. Today, uh, Colleen Macaluni, you got it, <laughs> keep doing that, <laughs> is joining us from MCBL. And we're super excited to hear about um, the partnership that started with American Express. And it's going to roll us into the holiday shopping season. That's Talks right. About that. That's right. So what happened was uh, in 2011, American Express uh, established Shop Small Saturday which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving as, small biz as shop, at, shop at your small businesses. So it's shop small, shop local is nice. the tagline. And uh, that was 2011. And then the year, a year after that, the Small Business Administration partnered up with uh, American Express to promote uh, Shop Small Saturday. So uh, fast forward and the uh, SBA partners uh, wanted to get involved also with for their clients in Shop Small Saturday and Shop Small Hawaii was created. Nice. So our director, Terry Funakoshi, she has built the website and helped to get the program up and running and we are very excited for the next couple of months because we have a number of events coming up celebrating Shop Small Hawaii. But uh, the the way uh, you can get involved is, well, first of all, let me back up. It's Shop Small Hawaii and Shop Small Saturday are basically a platform for small businesses to be able to uh, be recognized in a bigger way and also for uh, customers to connect with them. So um, we have, that's why we have a number, number of events coming up and um, we wanted to support our clients who are small businesses and of course a number of other clients uh, for th that are associated with our partners and support everybody in the community who has a small business to shop small shop local. I think to give some um, some background to mm -hmm. Shop Small Hawaii we have a few pictures here that you shared with us. Right. Um, from, here we go. Okay great yeah so those are actually a lot of our partners that's the Shop Small Hawaii kickoff we have uh, Susan Utsugi from Central Pacific Bank. Their uh, Central Pacific Bank is a sponsor, the main sponsor for Shop Small Hawaii this year. And that's Terry Funakoshi, our director, and then Senator Glenn Wakai, right. who's always a supporter of small business. He looks excited to shop. He is, yes. <laughs> and then Pony Askew, who is from um, Honolulu Night Market, who we're also partnering with. And then, of course, Melly James from Mana Up, who is another partner for Shop Small Hawaii with MCBL. Yes. And then those are our SBA partners. Right, so we have Jane Sawyer on the left, who is the right. Hawaii District Director for the Small Business Administration, and Dennis Kwok and Victoria Anayulaiti from the VBOC, Business, uh, let's see, Veterans Business Outreach Center. And then you have Lori Hiramatsu from the Small Business Development Center. They're right. all SBA partners. Very nice. Yes. We have one more here. Yes, so this is the Women's Farmers Workshop at Kahuku Farms that I got to attend last week. And they're holding up our proclamation there for Women's Yay. Small Business Month. And um, so they were, um, they had a workshop for women who own farms and wanting to do, um, who are wanting to do um, added value pro production uh, for or added value products out of their farm production so that they can increase their their income of course and our partnership there is with Oahu RCND who helps farmers with uh, establishing their farm with um, making sure that they are using their water um, not accurately but appropriately also that they have their a conservation plan for their farms to make sure they don't have too much soil erosion and to help from help from too much eroding soil. So we are, we've are we partnered with them um, just re recently, very excited for that. Very nice. Yes. Um, so there are a number of events that are coming up that are going to ramp us up into that holiday shopping season. And of course, yes. the most important thing is how it promotes um, the small businesses and supporting those small businesses. Everybody knows Black Friday, the large retailers, right. but really bringing it back to sh shopping Shops. local mm -hmm. and keeping it Hawaii um, yes. and for our small businesses. So we have some flyers for mm -hmm. your upcoming events. Um, yes. You had an event already, right, that kicked we it did. off? We did. So that was the, uh, the Shop Small kickoff mm -hmm. that was the first mm -hmm. pictures with the partners okay. there, yes. 
That was in September. Let's take a look at um, your upcoming events. Okay, great. So this one is on October 27th. This is at uh, Kamakana Ali'i and with Noeao Designers. They are a um, they are a store that has all Hawaii. They represent all Hawaii made and local craftsmen, craftspeople, craftswomen, and um, their store is fantastic right there at Kamakana Ali. So they're having an all-day um, Shop Small Hawaii event, and they have a gift with purchase oh, nice. for um, anything that's purchased of fifty dollars or higher. You get. Um, some kind of swag. I, th I believe it's a bag, a oh, Shop Small nice. Hawaii bag, which is really cute. So that's going to be uh, one of our kickoff events. And so is that one mainly apparel, or is it? No, it's actually gift items. Oh, very nice. Yeah, they have a they have a number. I I think they have over thirty crafts people that are represented really? in their store. Wow. Yes, it's a very fantastic nice. store. Very nice. Lots yeah. of parking out there. Yes, that's there be great. Is. Right. Yeah. Um, you have another event coming up after that one. Right, so the Mana Up Showcase, that is, uh, so we're partnering with Mana Up and uh, our, our director Terry has been a mentor there and we will be having, uh, MCBL and Shop Small Hawaii will be having a table at their showcase for their clients and their up and coming small businesses. So we're really very excited to help support them, and they will have a marketplace open as well. That um, event you can find on Eventbrite if you would like to register to attend. Tell that. us a little bit about Mana Up. Mana Up is a an incubator, small business incubator, and they have two cohorts a year. Uh, it's an application process. Uh, I believe that uh, their criteria is that you are already um, you already have revenue of a hundred thousand or more per year, and it's it's definitely a big ramp up for those companies. This is their cohort two that they're nice, on right now, nice. and they they just do so many wonderful things for their for their cohort. It's fantastic. Just everything they can do from marketing, promotions, just, oh, wow. um, you know, te teaching them what they need to do to, to step up their business. And this showcase is one of the great things. That, it's going to be at DFS in Waikiki. Okay. So it's a wonderful venue. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. I believe and, that's November 2nd, and Friday, so it, November 2nd. And so it features um, the participants in their cohort right. and, and those businesses. And all of their products. Yes. Fantastic. What an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I know we have another event after that one as well. Yes. Oh, okay. So this is actually our MCBL event. This is called Downtown Uncorked. This is our fifth annual Downtown Uncorked. It's a beer and wine tasting that we have at YWCA Oahu. And it, um, it's, uh, it's not a huge fundraiser for us. It's actually more of a thank you to our community and our partners and our clients. And we have a lot of fun. It's a very fun event. It sounds and, like it. <laughs> and it's, it's great because we can showcase our Launch My Business graduates. And actually, we have a current cohort right now if they're, they feel like they're ready with any kind of marketing materials. So they, um, they really don't sell anything there, but it's more of market research so they can interact with our attendees and our attendees can ask them questions and just starting to get them ready for real business. Right. Yes. So Fantastic. it's very exciting. And then one other thing about that one is uh, we'll also be supporting the um, VBOC, the Veterans Business Outreach Center, in having uh, their annual um, awards ceremony oh, nice. and kind of embedded in our downtown on court. So that's going to be exciting. Very, very nice. And that's right at the YWCA in that That courtyard. is at Fuller Hall. Oh, yes. I've seen beautiful events. There. Oh, yes. yes. So beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very convenient, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we have I know, there's more. Event. Right, there's more. <laughs> That's great. Right. So this is on December 2nd. This wraps up our um, events for Shop Small Hawaii. And this one actually is um, sponsored by OHA. We received a grant to produce a Make It Hawaii, celebrating Hawaii's cultural makers. And uh, we are also incorporating Shop Small into the event. And this one is going to be fantastic. They, um, there are, I believe, over 20 local crafts people in addition to the Noyao Designers oh, crafts wow. people in their store. Mm -hmm. And it um, is a 12 to 5.30 with uh, workshops. There's cultural workshops on how to make some different things. I'm not quite sure what those are going to be, but I think there's like a Lauhala. There's uh, lay, 
um, I'm not quite sure what else, but it's, I've been to one before, it's very fun. Live Hawaiian Entertainment, and then actually um, Kamaka Pili, who is Aloha Authentic, he is one of our Launch My Business graduates. Oh, wow. And so he's at, going to be emceeing the event, so it's going to be really exciting. That is really exciting. Yes. Um, so this is not the first rodeo for Shop Small Hawaii. Right. So tell me about the turnout, the attendance at these things. Well, we've had some, our, our um, kickoff had some wonderful attendance. That was really fun and great. We actually um, had that in our lobby at YWCA Oahu. A lot of fun. Uh, we're expecting, I know that Mana Up is expecting quite a large crowd. Um, they're a big draw there, so we're excited to be a part of that. And, of course, we're hoping that as many people as possible can come to the um, Kamakana Ali'i events. We do have um, two more events that are actually on Shop Small Saturday. Oh. So we are partnering with the um, night market, Honolulu Night Market, at Salt Kaka'ako that night. And we will be having a large... Um, large area for Shop Small Hawaii and small businesses, and we will be giving away quite a bit of Shop Small swag. My pin here is one piece, but we have our bags, we have um, refrigerator magnets, we have stickers for uh, hydro flasks, and a lot of fun, a lot of fun things. So come, make sure and look for our orange tent at the um, Honolulu Night Market. Fantastic. So I know that a lot of people are ramping up their holiday shopping right now. Yes. Um, there, were, there was a lot of information about a lot of great events and opportunities to do mm -hmm. that shopping. Where can they find all of this information in one place? Right. So where Shop Small Hawaii is concerned, you can go to shopsmallhawaii.com. That will give you all the events and all of the, uh, the fun things that are associated with Shop Small Hawaii. And it's also where small businesses can register to become part of Shop Small Hawaii. And then uh, the last thing is you can also go to the Shop Small Saturday website, which is the American Express website, to sign up as well and become a neighborhood champion. And then American Express will send the retailers free Shop Small, Shop Small Saturday um, swag. Fantastic. And yeah. it's not too late for them to do nope, that? No, I think they're still, it's still available. Yeah. That's fantastic. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with your viewers um, before we wrap up for today? Let's see, please come out and shop small and shop local and support all the small businesses in Hawaii. And please, please uh, give your feedback to your, to your small businesses, especially at the craft fairs and at, the, at the, the small gatherings that Shop Small Hawaii has because any kind of feedback to small businesses is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for joining us. MCBL does such amazing work for the community and of course to support women in business and we're so appreciative of what you do and, and you. The, the contributions that you make. Uh -huh. um, but thanks so much for joining us and I'll see you at some Shop Small events. Thank you for having me today, Jalen. <laughs> <laughs> we are out of time, but thank you to our guests and our wonderful production staff um, here in the studio. If you would like to be a guest on the show, please email your information to shows at thinktechhawaii.com. Business in Hawaii airs every Thursday at 2 p.m. and we are looking forward to seeing you here next week. <laughs>